It's time to go for gold for the last time on day one of the World Archery Championships here in Berlin. And the local crowd have the home team to support. And look at the support they're putting in. I think they're going to need that third man, so to say, and the crowd support because they go up against the might of Korea. It's time to go and meet the athletes. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. On target number one, the Republic of Korea. Lei Sihong. Kim Woo Jin. Representing Germany. Auf Schalke Nummer 2 für Deutschland. Michel Knopen. Well, there it is. The stage is set, ladies and gentlemen. A gold medal available. Two teams on deck. Germany up against Korea. So here we go. The recurve mixed team gold medal match. The host nation Germany line up with Florian Unruh there. He's teamed up with Michelle Cotton. Cotton, number seven in the world. Unruh, number two. They go up against the Korean pairing of Kim Woo Jin, who's the number five in the world, and the world number 13, Lin Si Hyun. But the Germans, as well as Kroffen and Unruh, have the entire crowd behind them. Chef, can the Germans do this? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, um, uh, we talked about it briefly before, and um, Germany has been shooting really well in front of their home crowd. Uh, the Koreans have not had their best tournament so far. Uh, we haven't seen much of Lim Sehyun yet on the uh, finals venue, so it's going to be a surprise what she brings to the table. But um, I feel like there might be opportunities for the German team. Yeah, Lim Sehyun starting off with a 10, and she's special even by Korean standards. Currently, in her international debut year, has not yet lost as an individual. And they put down the biggest of markers possible, the Korean team, as we switch over to uh, Unruh and Crotton. Uh, Kim Woojin still had some uh, arrows of his uh, teammates, his uh, <laughs> reeker of men teammates in his quiver. So uh, he grabbed the wrong arrow just there. Yeah, so Coffin shot well in the women's competition. She set Germany off to a flyer. Eight. Ah. That shot went off to the left. Uh, he or reacted to it with a shot. Um, he's still going to move his side a bit, but uh, keep in mind this is the first time that Florian is on this venue, at least today. In all fairness, this is also the first time that Lim Seyon is on this venue today, and uh, she doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. No. Wow. I knew that wasn't right. The minute he let go of it. And that leaves the door open. Two tens required. Eight. 
Not quite able to uh, do just that, but this is going to give uh, Florian a good opportunity to see if he uh, moves his sight enough and if he can shoot a good arrow here. Well, 38 plays 36 in favour of uh, Korea at the start of this. And uh, Unri looking down the scope to have a look at exactly where his two arrows went. Lim Siyun here, she just looks at home, doesn't she? Even though this is sort of her third international tournament. Certainly big international tournament. Two high bar archery World Cups and then this one. Yeah, I've never really had a moment where I feel like she was extremely nervous. Um, she just always seems calm and but most of all happy, happy to be there. Um, and I think that's uh, maybe a key thing to perform really well. Yeah, when she got presented to the crowd out here, she was waving away like it's a you know, 15th year on the circuit. She's very comfortable. And there's the bit you mentioned. Yeah, just a couple of arrows there, and not his, in his quiver hanging around. <laughs> anything in particular you saw with that shot? I mean, he was leaning backwards. Did that give anything away? Wrong position when he released? No, that was just uh, that was him trying to do what he could to get it over to the left, but I don't think uh, leaning backwards did anything in favor of uh, the shot. A um, bit of uh, drama, maybe, but... Uh, So Germany doing exactly what they need to do to have any shot at this uh, world title. Yeah, starting the second set with another 10 Klotten. And that is a very promising sign for the host nation. Another vocal uh, expression from Kim Woo Jin when he released the arrow, and uh, I think it's almost as if he saw the arrow go and thought, hmm? <laughs> it's very, very peculiar to see a rattled Kim Woo Jin. Coffin and Unruh have an oh, they had an opportunity. How's that one drifted away so far? The, the crowd in the football stadium are very loud. Could they possibly be a factor here, putting them off? I can hardly imagine this. It's kind of like uh, uh, white noise almost. It's not like a very sharp or a very sudden noise, so I think it's not going to do too much to the archers. Oh. At so this point, she's only shot tens so far. And, uh, the only person in the Korean team who hasn't only shot tens is Kim Woo Jin. Yeah, interesting here because he's got another opportunity to do this if he gets a ten and he does. So even with Kim Woo Jin not on his finest form and looking a little rattled, they've gone for <laughs> nipple up. There's an interesting uh, article talking about this mixed team from Korea in that uh, Lim was obviously very easy to go, I'm playing I'm competing with a superstar on my team, you know, what more could you ask for? And Kim be equally kind and, and, and I think truthful about Lim saying she is phenomenal. It's amazing for me to have her on the team. 
Well, I think both of those are true. I mean, Kim is uh, a legend on the archery circuit, um, and I feel like uh, Lin Sejong is a future legend. If, she could if be she isn't already yeah, unbeaten, 100% record at senior level so far. Yeah, which is um, individual. Yeah, so some would say it's three competitions. How like how? Uh, how much do you want to hype it? But it's it's not like she has shot three matches. She has shot many matches. Yes, and hasn't lost a single one. And they're international top class. Exactly. <laughs> it's the first yeah. time we've seen her on the circuit. She's won three of the biggest events. Oh, sorry, two of the biggest events, and is in in a shout for this one as well. Yeah, so I think she is uh, a phenomenal to be. Yeah, she set up and started. In a very Auf promising geht's. fashion. So, despite the great efforts from Crofton and Unruh, the trail by four set points to nil, and all Korea have to do now to secure their second gold medal of the day is match the German score. Crofton to shoot first in set number three. Eight or nine. Yeah, that was a clear uh, little mishap from her. Not, uh, I don't think it was necessarily a mistake. It was just he was caught off guard by uh, a little gust of wind and pulled to the left, and she couldn't recover from it fast enough. Eight. These are some surprising arrows, though, from Korea one and from Kim Woo Jin especially. This is not a man that's looking perfectly comfortable right now and in a couple of days he'll be out to shoot for the individual title no. No. Well, a 10 here and we've got a match on our hands can Florian Unruh the world number 2 put it in the centre of the target Running out of time, nine. and nine <laughs> is enough for a 36. And Korea can do it with two tens. They can indeed, and uh, they haven't shot a single nine yet this competition. Wow. They've only shot tens and eight, so it's either going to be very good or it's going to be a bit of a oops, a bit of an oops. It seems so far, and it comes down to Kim Woo Jin who's shot more eights than I think I've ever seen him shoot in a single match. Needs a 10 for Korea to have gold. Oh, does it when it's needed. Bang on the line. Now I say that, but we've got a, a, an arrow that needs to go to a measure. So this is provisional. They're happy, they're waving. I think they've forgotten that there's an arrow down there that could very well get marked up. But they're shaking hands down here. Have they decided not to go for the measure? Well. They must uh, wait for the target judge, but maybe uh, the coach of Germany uh, and the coach of Korea with their scopes. Yeah, when you look at it on review, that first arrow, which was marked for a measure, doesn't need to be measured. Everyone had agreed it was an eight. And so we can now say that Korea are the recurve mixed team champions of the world Lim Siyun and Kim Woo Jin not at their very very best still enough to beat Germany into the silver medal position so silver for Kroppen and Unruh gold for Lim and Kim